soften it up a little. Free ranging. Are these little babies exhausting you? Hey y'all, Amy here. Welcome back to the farm. I'm gonna be doing a few projects today. I thought I'd take you along with me. The first of which is repotting some ferns for my front porch. Now, I bought these ferns and they come in this green thing, this plastic hook, and I don't want them in that. So, a couple years ago, I bought these terracotta colored pots and my husband hooked up, he bought some chain and, uh, put this little thingy on it and, and made it. So it looks prettier. So that's what I'm gonna be using to repot these ferns. I figured I'd just bring you with me and show you how I do it. Okay, so the first thing that I have in the bottom of this pot is one of these. There's drain holes in the bottom and this little thing just, as you probably know, keeps the hole from getting clogged up with the soil. If you didn't have that, you could just throw some rocks in there and that'd be fine too. So, I'm going to take my ferns out of the pot. We're going to soften it up a little. I like to do this gently. I know some people, when they pull stuff out of pots, they'll like cut it or whatever. But I, I prefer to just squeeze a little bit and loosen it up a little. Not too much. Okay. Then I'm gonna set it in my pot and I'm going to fill in all the space around it with a general all-purpose fertilizer. Not fertilizer. Ugh. Potting soil, y'all. General all-purpose potting soil. But speaking of fertilizer, speaking of fertilizer, ferns don't really need much fertilization. They really don't. A good fish emulsion fertilizer once or twice a year is really all they need. Once in the springtime, and then again, if they, if your plants start looking a little puny, if your ferns look a little puny, then um, again, like midsummer. But you can't see what I'm doing. So just taking some handfuls of this. I'm filling it around the edges. Like so. Can I help? Can you help? You can take this plastic piece off the top of that fern. They just, it's like this. And they just unclip. You can take them off and unclip them. Okay, once we've got the outside filled around, then what I'm going to do is water it. The best way to water ferns, I learned this from my grandma, is to set them in a bucket of water or a bowl of water. This one's a little tighter. Now these are Boston ferns. For anyone who is interested, they are going to be um, a partial shade fern, which is fine for me because my porch faces east. So come midday and all through the rest of the day, they'll be in shade. All right, put it in the pot. We'll fill around the outside. These will not need to be fed this spring because this all-purpose potting soil has plant food in it already. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna water this one too, and they'll be ready to hang up. All right, y'all. These are our new peacocks from Coghill Farm. 
or as the kids call them, our peacocks. <laughs> they don't have names yet. We have a male here and a female there. They have only been here for a couple of days. We currently have them in this uh, closed up chicken coop area. But right now, Brian is working on adding a run to a little chicken coop area that he's built. And we're gonna move them over there when that's finished. But for right now, for the next couple of days, they're gonna stay in here. So the plan is for them to be free ranging, but they need to adjust to this area and get used to this and know that this is home first. So they're gonna spend a couple of weeks to a month or maybe even more. I don't know how long it's gonna take before I feel comfortable letting them go. Um, confined and then they'll be set free. So they're going to be in a chicken coop run that Brian is building, which we're about to go out there now where he's working on it um, for a little while. And then once they're free ranging, I'll have another chicken coop and run available for my chickens. So we're gonna go see what he's doing, working on that out there. And y'all, if you wanna suggest some names for these guys, that would be great. Um, obviously we want something like like a pair, some uh, names that go well together or like start with the same letter maybe. Something kind of royal or elegant sounding would be cool. So any suggestions you have, feel free to drop them. All right, so over here is where the little coop is gonna be. This is the inside part, the shelter that was built. And then he's gonna put like a run on the outside. How big is it? And it's just a small thing it's at least 16 by 4 16 by 4 okay and then it'll be a spot for the peacocks to be until they can free range and then it'll be a little extra chicken coop all right i was just about to tell y'all the reason why um I want this permanent little coop and not just something temporary for the peacocks. And I looked at myself on the screen and y'all, I'm all still so swollen. I got bee stung in um, the past couple of videos. It's, <laughs> oh, it's so obviously there. Okay, but anyway, sorry. I just keep looking at my swollen face. Um, anyway, the reason that I want more of a permanent small coop and not just a temporary pen for the peacocks is because I like having a small coop as a like step for my chickens. I have a brooder inside there and then when they move from the brooder I like to put them out into a small coop and from the small coop they'll then move into a larger chicken pen if they're full grown or they'll move into a chicken tractor or they'll be free range. So those are the reasons that we're gonna do more of a permanent type situation rather than just use like a dog kennel or something for the peacocks for now because I need a coop anyway. And if you're wondering what I did before I had this for my in-between chickens, this area right here, there was a coop here built out of pallets that sat there for three years. And so because it was made out of pallets and I'd been there for a couple of years, it started to rot and fall apart. So we took this one down a couple weeks ago with plans to build a new one. Elmo. He's just playing. Elmo. Elmo. Be nice. I think Batman's going to try to help us. You can get that, Batman? You got that? No? Change your mind? That's okay.
I got it. So, what in the world? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to pick it back up. Well, I went, I, I jammed it down in there to get dirt and now. I don't know how to get there we the go. Just get a little bit of clay. Go Let's see you got this and that. Daddy dug up some some clay, and I'm making a cat. You're making a cat with your clay? Yeah. What are you making, Abby? I'm making a chicken sculpture. What about you, Lace? I'm making a horse. A horse? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm Yo, look in this tire. What you doing, Boom Boom? You're laying in the sun. You're sleeping. Willow says hi. Willow says hi. Willow says mom life is exhausting. Are these little babies exhausting you? Are you getting exhausted? She's so sweet. Oh, she said the boys. The boys are always around. Where are you at? Stop chewing on my shirt. Come here. Come here. Here's one of them. Yeah, he's sweet. He likes hugs. This is S'more. S'more says hi. Little precious baby. Oh, excuse you. Excuse you, baby. Hi. Hi, precious. And who's, you're getting my back of my white shirt all dirty. I know it. Come here. Come here. Come here, little booger. Oh, here we is. It's Rocky. Rocky says hello. Yes, he does. Rocky likes hugs too. Hi, sweet baby. They're so sweet. What did you make, Abby? Looks like Hi. a chicken. It is a chicken. You did a good job. Thanks. And this is what you made, Lacey? Mm-hmm. Levi, what did you make? A kitty cat. You made a kitty cat? Yes. That's cute. All right, so tell me what the plan is to finish this tomorrow. Tomorrow? Or the next day? In the next week. Okay, what are we, what's the finishing touches? I'm gonna build a door. On the end here? Right here. Okay. It may be a big door. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna cover it, the whole thing outside part with harbor cloth. Yep. Okay. And then, and then probably put it on top too. Mm-hmm. So have plenty of sunshine. Okay. And then I've got to patch the few holes that are left. And then put like a roosting bar or something in there for now. Yeah, something. Okay. And then later, when I need it, we'll put in like nesting boxes and whatever. Hanging waters. Yeah. And all the fun stuff. Yep. Thank you. Just pulled a little carrot. 
Only one of them was ready. So instead of taking this inside, I'm gonna go give it to Willow. Hello there, ma'am. I have brought you something. You want it? Come here. Willow, come here. Willow, it's a carrot. Yeah, see? She's like, I didn't know what you had, woman. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's bite the thing, honey. Let's bite it. Oh. Is that good? Okay. How are you doing, Elmo? How are you doing, Elmo? Hi, Kitty. Hey, Elmo. sweetie. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon. Until next time, keep on the sunny side.